My lizard is apparently face painting. On the walking dead. Shit. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. Wow. Is the game too loud for you guys? You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. This is what I'm using to hydrate. <laughs> son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Friggin' Larry. Bye, Doug. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your Can ass. Can someone knock Larry out? Is that an option in this for me to knock Larry out? Um, I'm gonna turn the game audio up. Just a little. Oh no, sorry. I was gonna turn it down just a little bit. Is the game audio okay compared to my voice? Because I thought that that was really loud. I'm glad that everybody's getting along. I know that you guys get along anyway. No, 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 no. Smack him. Oh shit, do I have to do this? Yes. Lee's just out. Killing them all. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Who the hell is this guy? I completely forgot. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but Mark. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. People don't need to eat every day. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. She only cut him yeah, some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food oh, and Kenny okay. and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Not a bad idea. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Mm, he's an awesome. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <laughs> He's an old racist asshole. Is. Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, wanted me to die by zombies. Next time I knock him out. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Hi, birdie. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Okay. Is it muted? Is the thing actually muted on your tab? G, 
Jesus Christ. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and God damn it, got Travis. away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try shut to up, Travis. You, you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. <laughs> I'm glad you up. fixed it. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Shut up, Travis. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Shut Fine, up. but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. That's what you get for Shit. screaming. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Please hurry. Sorry, dude. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to get the chain. <gasps> ah! uh. Let's go. Let's go. So, dude, don't look at it. We. It has to be now. <sighs> Rude, mum. Is he? He passed out. Yeah, pain will do that. He's this alive. Grab him and let's go. Move, kid. Behind you. Don't walk. Travis. Run. Come on, come on. We gotta move. Run, kid, you idiot. God damn it, Travis. No! Bloody hell, Travis. You had one job. Move. Nobody liked Travis. My dad's special forces. Yeah, what did that do for you just then, dude? Nothing. Surely there's something better than a rock to use as a hammer, Larry. You idiot. Surely there's something quieter to kick that against, Clem. Yes, I'm very judgmental. Maybe just mental, who knows. God damn it, Clem. Psyching everybody out. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! Ben has like five oh oh What's Ace, going on? We don't have time to explain. Please. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. <sighs> Shut up, Lee. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. 
Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? This chick. Uh, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, Good you job, like Flynn. to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're yeah. being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Neither one of them should hey, be in charge. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You are. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Kenny, I've been on your side this whole time. Chill. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than Shut all up, of you Larry. combined. Shut up, Larry. Dropped it. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah. Listen to your daughter. This guy. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. <laughs> Dad, please don't talk about my balls. Oh, do it. Whatever, Lily. Go away. No one's mad at you for rationing the food. They're mad at you because you're a bitch. Shut up, Larry. You can starve. have to give some to Clementine. You get nothing. You're new to the group. Okay. Let's go see who we should give food to. Clem, obviously. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Hmm. Apple. Apples are good. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> How you are you going to get it out of the trap? Just rip it free. Hmm. Where's Kenny? I'll give it to Kenny. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Such a good Thank dad. You. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Go play with the soccer ball. Kenny, my buddy. Just check in on him first. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Mm. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Probably didn't have time to start a fire with all those zombies Look, around. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Ken's so nice. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. You do that, dude. Let's give some food to Kenny. Want something to eat? He's a jerky man, but yeah. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. I was gonna give him next. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Give him crackers and cheese. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! 
You stand on you stood on your own two feet. <laughs> That's great. Hey Ken, here's that food. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yes. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. No, save the food. Oh, for some somebody. of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. You're a genius, Mom. More hydrating. Uh, I'll go and give it to Lily. Larry can fuck off. Here. I don't want anything from you. <sighs> Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Whatever! I gave you food, shut up! Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. It's because you're a heartless bitch hey, to everybody. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. No. You're out! What happened to my food? You didn't get none. There's none left. You get enough fat on your feet for a while. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Hope she falls off there and hits her head. She could do with a personality change. I hate her and her dad. Oh, her dad does my head in. Like, I didn't give him food because he's a rude prick and there's enough fat on him to last a while. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, I got you. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Yeah. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure you were good. Shit, <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm gonna go speak to Mark and apologize for not giving him any food. No, 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 Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got shut 60 up, Larry. cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Shut up, Larry. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I'm yeah. Cool. I just hope Kaja can save him. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. I got you. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Yeah. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! Oh. She's making the smart Shut choice. Shut up, Larry! Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. I hate this guy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that. I saw it pop up. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. That's so loud. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't scared? think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Cause me? Because he's black. He knows why. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. It's not your Ken, fault, come please. back. There's nothing... 
Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. He's okay, Katja. Well, at not least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh my god. Man, you brought. I tried, but he was. It wasn't your fault, Carter. Well, at least he's not Can't a problem that. What about the other kid? truck like that. you tell us he was bitten what he was bitten and you didn't say a goddamn word but he wasn't bitten i swear well your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife what wait you all don't know what the hell are you talking about it's not the bite that does it you come back no matter how you die if you don't destroy the brain that's just what happens it's gonna happen to all of us Infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. Masks For protection. Oh. Dead could be anywhere. Okay. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the Pretty electricity. Masks off Our generators run on gas. Look. <laughs> We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. It's an okay offer. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Oh, so, only uh, hospital. What do y'all think? Care. Okay. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So Yeah, this for dairy, employment that makes sense. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with Living the vegetables cheese. we grow, we got plenty of food. Living on a farm would be it's good nice in to this get away from that situation. motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, 
Because I'm I'm so trustworthy. amazing. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Yeah, I'm not a bad man. I am. Uh, I'm an amazing man. appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? No, Where are you things. from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty Jared, settled yeah. in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? For China. Uh. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well. You guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food. Too many of Quite frankly, we could always use yeah. an extra helping hand. Don't ask, Lily. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the Shut dairy up, for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's all for yourself. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> What a nice guy. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. There's some food for y'all. They wanted them to... <laughs> they wanted to wait and hope that they moved on to turn around and go back. Geniuses. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Thank you. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Don't touch the that fence. Keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. <laughs> that same, Carly. Same. Hey, Mama. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome Brenda. to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying I'm pretty at the sure they're motel. talking about slaves. Oh my goodness, there that guys. place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? God. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks, Brenda. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Amazing. Nom, nom, Can't nom, get nom, stuff nom. like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. 
A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? <laughs> I'd want to take someone tonight. with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay. You stay there, Mark. I want to take a look at this fence. For Clem. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. How to show you can pull your weight, fix a swing. I would somehow still mess it up. Just just snap a board off the fence. <laughs> there we go. What this? Hmm. Pointy. Windy. Oh, can I use this? This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this Just might make it snap it over your knee swing. and hope for the best. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, I just want to fix the swing. That is not how you saw something. Just, just put it in your back pocket. It'll fit. Just walk up and touch the fence. Where's some rope, dude? Mark, what are you doing? That is not checking the perimeter. That is not looking out for things. Yeah, walk through it. Bro! This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. He is holding the fence up. You know, up. when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, Gee. she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Yeah, no, I'm pretty good. Shoe bucket? Rope! 
This rope is per I might actually try to, like, that was like really dark and I don't know why. Hang on, was that there? And I just missed it. No, I need graphics. Game brightness. Turn it up a smidge. Because I did not see a single thing that was in that box. If you put this way. Still can't see a single thing. Whatever. That's fine. Right, let's go fix the swing, fam. Did anybody else have like a swing like this in their backyard? I didn't because I didn't have a tree. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. It definitely is. I'll get a splinter and. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all I would, fixed up. I would sit on that Hopefully and just Hopefully our kids day. will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. Aww. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Surprised you didn't just like push him. a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Well, I mean, they are grown up. Can I test it? Oh, I can only look at it. Damn it! As an adult, I would straight up just sit on that and swing. I love swings. Okay. You stay there, Mark. You're, you're doing a good job. How do I have the axe back? Oh, maybe I took it on the wall. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel <laughs> you don't like that swings? you folks are pretty well armed been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, I hope you don't you like never swings. come to that, but thanks. Swings are good. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generator. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. <laughs> Closest Just thing like to entertainment these in. days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but... Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I Doubt can it. help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. Bit I'll of turn both. off the northwest section Maybe. and uh, you have you guys seen can this, strip Mom? them off and look for any weak points. Well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. You never know. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah. This game. Have you seen this game? Oh, big stretch. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? It, oh, okay, can? yeah. It's Fair pretty enough. amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, alright? I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Ooh. There's one. No, buddy. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Why didn't have an arrow? Disgusting. Let's just move you out of the way. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. I'm surprised there's Once not like a pile of them. Up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? I would still worry about them. 
The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Thanks, Mark. That's all. Thanks. You're a ledge. There's another one. I see it. You could see it from all the way over there. Hands off. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Not good. I think that would still, like, fry the... You never get used stuff. to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. The smell of rotting flesh and stuff. Mm -mm. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Shut up! I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If That's they've handy. got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. <laughs> I think Mr. we Crispy. get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> yeah, why did he have to jump? Just step. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh shit. Ah! I told you. What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Snap the arrow a bit. With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. You got lucky that time. You see him? Mm. What about our arrangement? You assholes deserve to die! Can't lure me to the outing! The blades are stuck in the dirt! Over there! Now there you are, boys! Now we should be able to push it. Nope. You fucked with us! Did you really think you we fucked with us? Ah, oh, move, brick! Come on. If we can we reach the gate, the we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah. On the Shit, move. that hurts. Get close Give us the food. food we don't have any food. Bloody zombie, move. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I don't we'll have think to move it is. You assholes! You're gonna move him. You didn't deliver the good. Did you really yeah, think you fuck with him? Over there. Where do you think you're going? You trying to lure me to the open? Why don't what I don't understand is why they don't like run to us. Like it's it's not like another one. Where How are? many of those things did we push down? Where's our food, you asshole? Give us the food. The zombie I right there. there. God damn it. What about our arrangement? How do I stop that? Did I just not move too f did I just not move Where's fast enough? Food, you Another one? Going. How many of those things did we push down? Get closer! Give it to 
They're pretty strong for like. You okay? Yeah. Uh, I can't run you. Come on. The gate's right there. I think I just didn't move quick enough. Move late! Oh, okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Don't leave that open. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Just wish you could like, you know, just like give your shoe to the zombie and like chuck it that way and throw it like they're a dog. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, I got shot. Uh, uh, there was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh, God, oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. You need to push we'll it through until out. it's through and then, like, Must snap what the kind of shit end is and pull the rest through. We ran into some people Straight. on the way up here. Don't rip it Bandits, back. I guess. That's I why they're the aimed like triangles. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Screw them up. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Hey, Black Not Dog, safe. how you doing? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown oh, out shut up, before Larry. we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. No, you don't. Everybody hates you, Where's Larry. Ben and shut Carly? Up. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. These guys sus as hell. Hey, kid, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Yeah. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Oh, Clem is so cute. You wake up at 2 in the morning. Why do you wake up at 2 in the morning? <laughs> I'm going good. I hope the small amount of sleep you did get is good. I want to suss out this. Come on, Lee. Look at the generator. That thing keeps a fence electrified. No duh. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. See, I'm the kind of person that would touch it just to see how like how strong it is. I would 100% die. In a zombie apocalypse situation, I would die. It would be like, don't touch this. It will kill you. And I'd be like, will it though? Will it? Duck, if you kick me on this swing, I swear to God. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Oh, five hours is all right. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Duck is, <laughs> Duck is so extra. I love this kid. Oh. <sighs> So what's your plan for the day, Black Dog? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. 
Is Mark going to be okay? Get lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. Smack them out. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? Clem is so sweet. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. Yeah. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen That's to not going to happen to you, Clem. I promise. I promise. I think you promise. All Guys, right, Clem. you cannot break a pinky promise. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, so I'm hoping to be back to streaming normally. So, hopefully I'll see you in a few streams. We can set something up to play some Phasmophobia or Dead by Dad one day, so we can play together. Have a good sleep. Rest up. Get an extra few hours. Can I have a look in here? Yeah. Suss it out. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I think the barn is big enough for people. Oh no, I hope I didn't make you sick. <laughs> oh. Sick is not good. And then again, I may have, like, we thought, like, I was exposed to somebody with COVID, so I was like, oh my god, please don't be COVID. But I'm feeling a lot better, which is good. No COVID, just probably paranoia. And, like, they're doing burn-offs at night, so I'd wake up with a really sore Fellas, throat. Because, you, you know, burn-offs. I'm really smoke. sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah, you should have. No shit. Yeah, you, you get him, Lee. You did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the Hell fuck yeah. are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Big Save box. lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Uh, burn-offs are like, um... Yeah. It's It'll like at farms and stuff when they... About what we're up against. Like, burn Let's off all the... Like, I'll stay here and hold down the of, like, crops Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No so they're just like huge killed. controlled fires. Um... So, like, obviously there's a lot of smoke in the air and stuff. Are you going now? Yeah. So the I'll smoke just soon, spreads everywhere. Please be lucky. And then you breathe I it in and you're like... <gasps> just get super smoky because th they are, like, massive controlled fires that farmers do and stuff to, like, clear everything out. But, yeah, they have, like, smoke screens around the city for a while. See anything? Not yet. So obviously, it's like, here. It's it's smoke in the air is going to make your throat sore and stuff. Food. Those were alphabet, like, noodles. Alphabet pasta. Alphabet spaghetti. Here. Oh my god. Alphabet everything. Oh shit. You found it? Yeah, I did. Army signals. Knock him out. Look around everywhere. Sneaking in there. Sneak up. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Yeah, don't just cruise in there, chilling like. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Yeah, I'm learning your ABCs is important. I see a tent. I see a tent. Oh my god, check the tent, dude.
clear. This Why did he seem disappointed for that? Main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. What's cooking? What's cooking? Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Oh, alphabet soup. What's in here? What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. Empty cans are good. I'll pass. Decorations. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. I'm gonna smack them together. What's in the trolley? Who went shopping? Hmm. Oh. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. I want to check out in the tent, dude. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Okay, let's not kill a kid. I want to see what's cooking. Alarms for the walkers. Oh, yeah, that's a genius idea. Just water. That would be hot. Why would you touch that with your bare hand? I've done that before and it's, it hurts. It's hot. Metal tin, boiling water, not good. Nothing. Just get, yeah, get the kids to tile the can. <gasps> Empty. The phone things where you have like two cans that are conjoined by a string and you're like. I take this. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's mm. dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. This guy's so sus. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. No. Because nobody's friends with her. Looks like they expected to be here a while. If the zombie apocalypse comes, I will die for the stupidest reason. As I said, I would touch an electric fence. Like, I I have like a dermatitis thing going on with my eyebrow. But the reason it is so bruised is because I walked into a TV. Like the Nothing corner of a TV. Fumes. Shit. Like, that is the sort of stuff I do on a daily basis. I would die for the dumbest reason in a zombie apocalypse. These guys Yuck. love They're alphabet soup. That. What else am I looking at? What else am I looking for? Examine the tent now that he's away from it. A bunny rabbit. Up in this? You've got kids in your arm, I mean, they're in a like, Was psycho more place. Like... Oh, that's great. Oh, man. As I said, I, if there's a zombie apocalypse, I will, I will straight up come over to America, hang out with you, and then I'll go die for a stupid reason. The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. Jesus, woman, brush your back. hair. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? 
<laughs> you, you trip me about Look, take her. Let me live. Let, let me live. Let me be free. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there. You best believe. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time when I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. She's not your daughter. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. <laughs> yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> She's Go on, off her tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! Well, Dolly don't have to worry about God John Lane damn anymore. It. Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. Wasn't really suspicion, it was more... why? It's a clean shot, though. I've already Not died, like, it. twice. That's good shooting <laughs> right If I there. do well, then I stick Still, around longer. No, I died ways. twice already. So, that's it. We're going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So, yeah, we head back. I would want to take the trolley this, to do, like, shopping cart stuff. Message. Maybe take the crossbow. It's another weapon. It may not be the best weapon, but it's another weapon. Yeah, good job, bro. Take it. Take it. Come on. Good. Always take weapons, guys. Zombie apocalypse. Everything becomes a weapon. This would be a weapon. You, like, open it up. It's not the sharpest thing, but it'll do. Oh, 